Prince Philip dead, Duke of Edinburgh dies aged 99, latest updates as world pays tribute. Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, has died aged 99, the Queen has sadly announced in a statement released by Buckingham Palace. The Queen shared a somber statement to announce to the world the passing of her beloved husband. The announcement shared by Buckingham Palace read, It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen announces the death of her beloved husband. His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. Further announcements will be made in due course. The royal family join with people around the world in mourning his loss. The statement was published on a holding webpage created in memory of Prince Philip. An easel with the statement has also been placed outside of Buckingham Palace to officially announce the death of the Duke of Edinburgh. As a tribute to Prince Philip. All the official social media accounts of the royal households changed their pictures to a photograph of Prince Philip and will use their monograms in black as profile pictures as a mark of respect. The Duke's funeral plans were made, in consultation with him, decades ago. However, it is likely they will need to be revised due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. The Duke leaves behind his wife the Queen, and their four children, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, Anne. Princess Royal and Prince Edward as well as eight grandchildren and ten great-grandchildren, including Princess Eugenie's son who was born in February and Sarah Tyndall's son, born in late March. Tributes began pouring in minutes after the sad announcement was shared. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, speaking from Downing Street, said, he was the longest-serving consort in history, one of the last surviving people in this country to have served in the Second World War at Cape Matapan where he was mentioned in dispatches for bravery and in the invasion of Sicily, where he saved his ship by his quick thinking and from that conflict he took an ethic of service that he applied throughout the unprecedented changes of the post-war era. Like the expert carriage driver that he was he helped to steer the royal family and the monarchy so that it remains an institution indisputably vital to the balance and happiness of our national life. He was an environmentalist and a champion of the natural world long before it was fashionable. With his Duke of Edinburgh Awards scheme he shaped and inspired the lives of countless young people and at literally tens of thousands of events he fostered their hopes and encouraged their ambitions. We remember the Duke for all of this and above all for his steadfast support for Her Majesty the Queen. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer also joined the country in mourning and said in a statement, The United Kingdom has lost an extraordinary public servant in Prince Philip. Prince Philip dedicated his life to our country, from a distinguished career in the Royal Navy during the Second World War to his decades of service as the Duke of Edinburgh. However, he will be remembered most of all for his extraordinary commitment and devotion to the Queen. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon wrote on Twitter, I am saddened by news that the Duke of Edinburgh has died. I send my personal and deepest condolences, and those of the Scottish government and the people of Scotland to Her Majesty the Queen and her family. The British Army also released a short statement on Twitter, reading, It is with deep sorrow that we received the news of the death of His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. Leaders and prominent personalities from all over the world are expressing their sadness. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said, I am saddened to hear of the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Philip. I would like to extend my sincere sympathy to Her Majesty the Queen the royal family and the people of the United Kingdom on this very sad day. Irish Tao Isach Michael Martin wrote on Twitter, saddened to hear of the death of HRH Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Our thoughts and prayers are with Queen Elizabeth and the people of the United Kingdom at this time. Former U.S. President George W. Bush said, Laura and I are saddened to learn of the passing of Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Throughout his long and remarkable life, he devoted himself to worthy causes and to others. He represented the UK with dignity and brought boundless strength and support to the sovereign. Laura and I are fortunate to have enjoyed the charm and wit of his company, and we know how much he will be missed. We join those around the world offering heartfelt condolences to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and the entire royal family. The Romanian royal family also issued a statement, reading, her Majesty the custodian of the Romanian crown and HRH the prince consort, along with the whole Romanian royal family, learned with profound sadness and immense sorrow the news of the passing of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. King Philippe and Queen Mathilde of Belgium also said, 
deeply saddened by the passing away of His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. We wish to express our deepest condolences to Her Majesty the Queen, the British royal family and the people of the United Kingdom. Sweden's King Carl XVI Gustaf described Philip as a longtime friend in a message of condolence to the Queen. The Archbishop of Canterbury paid tribute to Prince Philip's extraordinary life and his deep sense of duty. He said, I join with the rest of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in mourning the loss of His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh and give thanks to God for his extraordinary life of dedicated service. Prince Philip continually demonstrated his unfailing support and unstinting loyalty to Her Majesty the Queen for 73 years. He consistently put the interests of others ahead of his own and, in so doing, provided an outstanding example of Christian service. During his naval career, in which he served with distinction in the Second World War, he won the respect of his peers as an outstanding officer. On the occasions when I met him, I was always struck by his obvious joy at life, his inquiring mind and his ability to communicate to people from every background and walk of life. He was a master at putting people at their ease and making them feel special. His beloved patronages and the associations he has supported for a lifetime are also issuing messages of condolences to the royal family and sorrow for the loss of their patron. The Duke of Edinburgh's award tweeted. It's with great sadness that we acknowledge the death of our patron HRH the Duke of Edinburgh, he will be sadly missed. Mike Adamson, chief executive at the British Red Cross, paid tribute to the Duke for the support he has always shown to the organization. He said, We are deeply saddened at the news of the Duke of Edinburgh's passing and send our heartfelt condolences to Her Majesty the Queen and the Royal Family. Prince Philip served as chairman of the British Red Cross Council from 1970 to 1974 and he accompanied Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, our longest-serving patron, at numerous Red Cross events both in the UK and overseas. The British Red Cross is also proud to be a long-term supporter of the Duke of Edinburgh's award. Many of the hard-working young volunteers that have come to us through the award have continued to volunteer with us for several years. Catherine Woodhead Chief Executive of Muscular Dystrophy UK, of which Prince Philip was the patron, said, We are deeply saddened to learn of the death of His Royal Highness, Prince Philip. His dedicated patronage for so many years has been a precious asset in the fight against muscle-wasting conditions. Prince Philip had the kindness and foresight to lend his backing to a charity focused on what were then little known poorly understood conditions. The Duke's backing remained an immense encouragement throughout his patronage, most recently hosting an event in 2016 at St. James's Palace. Through the decades, Prince Philip has helped to raise awareness and promote understanding of this vitally important cause. He met with a great many people and families who were encouraged by his understanding of their condition, not only the physical challenges they faced but the emotional challenges for them and their families too. He was also aware of the barriers that needed to be overcome to enable them to live well with muscular dystrophy. These moments and memories of his wholehearted support will be cherished for many years to come. Muscular Dystrophy UK will remain forever grateful to our patron, HRH the Duke of Edinburgh. Royal fans have also been respectfully honouring Prince Philip on social media and in person, by leaving tributes cards and flowers outside royal palace. However, the government has asked people not to lay flowers at royal residences and avoid gatherings. A spokesperson said, We are asking the public not to gather at royal residences. We are supporting the royal household in asking that floral tributes should not be laid at royal residences at this time. Philip retired from public duties in August 2017 after completing 22,219 solo engagements since his wife Queen Elizabeth II acceded to the throne in 1952. The Duke of Edinburgh was a patron, president and a member of more than 780 organizations and continued to be associated with them after his retirement. Even after officially retiring from public duties, the Duke of Edinburgh remained committed to his associations. Just last year, in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, Prince Philip shared two public statements to thank key workers and teachers for their continuous efforts in support of the country. And in July he stepped out in the quadrangle at Windsor Castle to take part in a rare ceremony with the rifles, during which he passed on his role of Colonel-in-Chief of the regiment to Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Upon retiring, 
Prince Philip was praised for his public service, with former Prime Minister Theresa May leading the tributes saying he had given the Queen steadfast support, while the then Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn said the Duke's clear sense of public duty had inspired people for more than 60 years. As his age advanced beyond 90, concerns for Philip's well-being increased when he faced a number of health scares, abdominal and hip surgery bladder infections and a blocked coronary artery saw the Duke admitted to hospital on a number of occasions over the past decade. Most recently, on February 16, he was admitted to King Edward VII Hospital for observation and treatment. It was later revealed the Duke of Edinburgh was being treated for an infection. And on March 1 he was transported to St. Bartholomew's Hospital, where he underwent heart surgery. The Duke, after returning to King Edward VII Hospital, was discharged from hospital on March 16, when he returned to Windsor Castle. Prince Philip celebrated 73 years of marriage with his wife, Queen Elizabeth II in November 2020. Their enduring relationship lasted the longest of any British sovereign. Through the highs and lows of life leading Britain's much-loved royal family, Prince Philip was there every step of the way for his wife. On their 50th wedding anniversary, the Queen described Prince Philip as her strength and stay. She said, he has, quite simply, been my strength and stay all these years. And I, and his whole family, and this and many other countries, owe him a debt greater than he would ever claim or we shall ever know. Prince Philip was born Prince Philippos of Greece and Denmark on June 10, 1921, the only son of Prince Andrew of Greece and Princess Alice of Battenberg. At 18 months old, Philip and his family were forced to flee Greece after unrest sparked the abdication of his uncle the King of Greece. Constantine I to abdicate, Philip became a naturalized British subject and renounced his royal title in order to marry then Princess Elizabeth. He also anglicized his family surname of Battenberg to Mount Batten, which has been adopted by less senior members of the royal family such as Meghan and Harry's son Archie Harris in Mount Batten, Windsor. Philip served in the Royal Navy from 1939 to 1952, with his naval career coming to a halt with the death of his father-in-law. King George VI, the Duke of Edinburgh served as a cadet on battleship HMS Valiant which fought in the Battle of Cape Matapan during World War II. He was then promoted to first lieutenant of the W-class destroyer, HMS Welp, which was present in Tokyo Bay when the Japanese signed the surrender.